Hello everyone, Bob here. Today we're going to talk about 1969's On Her Majesty's Secret Service. This is the sixth James Bond film and it was directed by Peter Hunt. Uh, this film is actually the first Bond film not to feature Sean Connery in the leading role. This one uh, features unknown Australian actor George Lazenby. There were a couple of uh, different tongue-in-cheek uh, references to the fact that a different actor was portraying 007, uh, most notably of which in the pre credit sequence when uh, Lazenby's Bond says, this never happened to the other fella. There were also several uh, references to um, the other James Bond films to uh, keep the audience uh, reminded that this is indeed the same character that was featured in the first five films. Lazenby was offered a seven-film contract. He turned it down at the urging of his agent. The agent uh, convinced him that the uh, laid-back 70s would antiquate the role of 007 and make it less appealing to the general audiences. So uh, that's why Lazenby was one and done with this film. This film is known for uh, it's mountain photography, in particular during the uh, ski chase sequences that happen um, later on in the movie. The, uh, the views and the way the film was photographed, it's breathtaking, especially it, it was quite the achievement in 1969. And uh, when accompanied with John Barry's uh, score, which I of course already reviewed, if you watch my Voice of the Movie series, I reviewed it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the those together uh, is one are one of the things that propel this uh, bond to the heights that it achieves. The plot follows Bond's hunt for Blofeld um, in the aftermath of "You Only Live Twice." Uh, bond eventually finds him. He is hiding out in uh, Switzerland, and. Uh, Bond impersonates a guy he, who he's been in contact with and goes up to uh, try to draw him out, so to speak. And while he is there, he uh, uncovers a plot from Blofeld where he's going to hold uh, the world's agriculture hostage. And he wants uh, immunity from all of his previous crimes as the price of not uh, doing this. And to carry this plot out, he has... 12 uh, angels of death as, as they're called and uh, he they are brainwashed young ladies who don't know what they're doing for him this film is also known for its uh, romance moments between uh, Lazenby's Bond and Diana Riggs uh, Tracy I would also like to note that um, after uh, From Russia With Love, there was a Bond, actual Bond theme song with lyric with lyrics to it. Um, and Goldfinger, Thunderball, You Only Live Twice. This one switches back up and goes to an instrumental opening se uh, title sequence. And that, as of now, is the last time that happens uh, in the whole franchise. Of course, this has other songs in it, like Louis Armstrong, We Have All the Time in the World. Um, and Do You Know How Christmas Trees Are Grown? But um, as far as an actual opening title theme, this is the last film in the franchise to not have an actual uh, song with lyrics at the beginning. My final rating for this movie, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. This is easily one of the best in the franchise. And it makes you wonder if had Lazenby accepted the seven film deal, how Bond would have turned out. Lazenby may very well be remembered among um, one of the top two actors to ever play the part. In the end, we'll never know. His one outing uh, for On Her Majesty's Secret Service was excellent. It's one of my favorite Bond movies, and uh, I know at the time it came out, critics were rather hard on it. It's amazing uh, how many of them look back retrospectively and um, give it a more favorable uh, re review rating. It's amazing how often that happens.
Tracy is played by Diana Rigg. Um, she is a vulnerable uh, countess who ends up accidentally capturing uh, Bond's heart at first. Eventually, uh, at the end, the two are reunited after uh, she gets kidnapped by Blofeld and uh, they are married. But tragically, uh, Blofeld kills her and in what is one of the truly heartbreaking moments of the franchise. In fact, it's probably the only heartbreaking ending to any of the films in the series. Uh, Gabriel Frazetti plays Draco. He is the head of a major crime syndicate, and he's also uh, Tracy's father. He helps Bond out in the rescue operation that rescues his daughter. George Baker plays Sir Hilary Bray. Uh, Bray is a genealogy expert whom Blofeld is uh, trying to get to... Uh, help him prove he's uh, entitled to a title of Count. And he is also the person Bond impersonates when he goes out to try to draw Blofeld out. Uh, George Baker was actually director Peter Hunt's neighbor, and that's how he got the part in this film. Bernard Horsfall plays Sean Campbell. Uh, he is um, someone who tries to help 007 out in Switzerland as part of Operation Bedlam, which is uh, Bond going in to uh, try to draw out Blofeld. Uh, unfortunately, Blofeld's henchmen capture him and kill him. Uh, Telly Savalas plays Ernst Stavro Blofeld. He takes over from Donald Pleasance. Um, their approaches to the role are different, but they both uh, work for uh, the respective films. Uh, Savalas is easily the second best classic Blofeld performance behind Donald Pleasance, in my opinion. Ilse Steppet plays uh, Irma Bunt. Uh, she's Blofeld hench Blofeld's henchwoman, and she's actually the one that pulls the trigger that kills Tracy at the very end of the film. Yuri Borienko plays Gunther, and that is Blofeld's chief of security at his uh, mountaintop hideaway. This film's vital statistics, uh, Bond kills five. That's the total for Lazenby's Bond as well, as well as the final total for all of Lazenby's uh, Bond kills because he was only in the one film. Uh, there are 37 other kills in the movie. It makes a total of 42 kills in this film. Uh, the Bond total is the grand total, which counts the first five Connery movies, and then this one uh, brings the Bo James Bond character to this point up to 64 total kills. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's all I've got for this one. Uh, here in a few days, we'll wrap up uh, the first leg of our journey through the James Bond films with Diamond, Diamonds Are Forever. Um, then I'm going to kind of get into more of a horror kick as we get into September, October. Truthfully, I um, was hoping to make it through the Bond uh, franchise. I was going to keep rolling on through uh, the new film, which is supposed to come out in November. I kind of have my doubts it will come out in November now, um, but we'll know more in uh, in the coming weeks. So I may not get through all of them as, as I was planning because I'm going to kind of back off and focus on horror for the Halloween season. But uh, if I don't, I'll get through them. I'll adjust my plans accordingly. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please give me a like. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to have new content daily. Doesn't always work that way with my internet out here in the country, but that's my goal. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Just search for Bob the Film Guy. And for now, this is Bob signing off.